Okay, I'm out here with the Solo today. This is actually the Solo that I have that I intend to use for parts, but I think it still flies, so I want to do some experimentation. The goal of this video is to show the different flight modes and what they can do to an extent. Um, so we're going to take off here. The camera is on my head, so there's no video coming from the Solo itself, so it's line of sight what we're doing right now. Armed. This is a stock Solo with open Solo firmware. Um, so we're starting off in fly mode, also known as loiter mode, in Argicopter. And I think everyone that flies a Solo know what this is, knows what this is. Solo uses GPS to hold position horizontally and vertically. Well, vertically it's held uh, by, I believe it's internal barometer. So the next mode we're going to demonstrate is stabilize. What stabilize mode is, it's similar to fly manual in that it'll always level itself, but you have to maintain altitude with the left stick. So for example, I'm going to enter stabilize mode now. Stabilize. And I've got to back down on the throttle, and the wind is also pushing her. So here is stabilize. It's a little bit windy today, not too bad. You can kind of see that you have to maintain altitude with the with the left stick. So it is a bit of a challenge. Loiter. We're back in loiter mode. Gonna bring it down a little bit. Okay, the next mode I'm going to try is fly manual, also known as alt hold in Argicopter. Alt hold. This will hold altitude, but it will not hold position. It'll drift with the wind, and you can see which way the wind is blowing. But both altitude hold and stabilize are significantly faster than GPS mode. Right there, it's fighting the wind, so it's going to cut down on the speed. Okay, let's bring it back in. Loiter. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take it down because you can only have two modes programmed to the A and B buttons each time. I think you can set up long press to add more modes, but I'm not sure how to do that. So I'm going to pause for a minute so I can land and change my settings and then I'll take off again. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I'm still in loiter mode to give it some room. The next mode we're gonna try is drift mode. And drift mode is, is kind of a fun mode because it flies like a plane. All of the motion except for altitude is controlled by the right stick. You can't yaw like you can in loiter mode. But it goes faster, even though it has GPS, it maintains GPS lock and it goes a little bit faster than it does in GPS, uh, out, out, uh, blah, blah, blah. hello, it, than it does in loiter mode. So let's hit drift mode. Drift. And you can see she's still fighting the wind a little bit, so. I can use the left stick to control altitude but turns are gradually made with the right stick. Kind of flies like an airplane. And she can still hold her position by GPS.
and she tends to change altitude fairly quickly in drift mode. I'm not giving her full forward pitch there. So, this is a fun mode. I haven't used this in a while. Okay, let's go back into fly. Mode. Okay, next up is smart mode, uh, excuse me, sport mode. And as many of you probably know, this is one of my favorite flight modes. With a good tailwind, I've had this bird over 73 miles per hour in sport mode. They call it a modified version of acro because it will stay pitched in whatever direction you apply the left stick, unless you correct for it in the opposite direction, but it will not roll or tumble. It'll never go past 90 degrees. Uh, the downside is it will lose altitude fairly quickly if you stay full pitch in whatever direction. Uh, it does maintain altitude, like I said, unless you're giving it full pitch, but it drifts with the wind like fly manual. So here's sport mode. Sport. See, I've given it just a little bit of forward pitch and she's staying forward pitched. Right there, I give it back pitch to slow down. It's a little bit of work to level it off. You gotta kind of tap the stick. And I'm giving a little bit of altitude. Okay, loiter. back in the loiter. Again, I'm going to have to land to change the buttons again because I can only do two flight modes at a time. The last mode I'm going to show you is acro and I'm going to do my best. It's like I said, it's a bit windy out here, so I want to be real careful in acro mode. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Like I said, the last flight mode I'm going to show you is acro. I'll see if I have the courage to try to do a flip. Acro again is challenging also because you have to maintain altitude with the left stick. The moment you go into acro mode, it starts ascending because the throttle stick is centered kind of like in Stabilized that you saw. Acro. There she goes. So she'll stay pitched in whatever direction you apply unless you give it back pitch. On back down. Alright, let's do this again. Loiter. Going back into loiter, I'm going to bring it back because I'm a little too far away. And I've got to watch my battery. I'm using a little bit older battery that I'm a little suspicious about because the cap on it is only about 4200 maw versus 5200 design cap. Acro. Okay, we're on acro again. Loiter. Okay, I'm going to try to level off here. All right, I'm pointed in the direction of the wind. Now, so let's see if we can do a flip. And we did a flip. How about that?
Loiter. That was a little bit more challenging. That was a, a forward roll. Excuse me, we did a roll and I tried to do a front flip there. That was a little bit challenging. So all you have to do is hit the fly button to restore as long as you're semi upright. But I did do a flip, a roll in acro. Let's try one more time. Acro. Loiter. Ah, oh, we bounced, but she's still standing. I need to give her a little bit, a little bit of altitude. So one successful roll, one unsuccessful roll. Sorry about that, guys, but got 30% battery. I'm going to give it one more shot. And there we go. Loiter. I can now say that I did rolls and acro. Battery is getting low, 26%. Bully for me. <laughs> and we're gonna bring her back in because the battery's getting low. But there you have it, folks. Those are the flight modes for a stock solo. I mean, she's not stock because it's got open solo installed, but it's all stock equipment. The only difference is it's got master air screw propellers and an MRO Waiting GPS, GPS, the first generation. Ready for takeoff. Um, Argycopter has some other flight modes, uh, circle, auto, uh, smart RTL, but this is pretty much what you can expect out of a solo, and that's why I love this platform so much. You know, flying the unique Typhoon H and flying the Mavic Pro, I get wonderful video. This thing also provides great video, but just the different flight modes that you can do with this thing is just incredible. So that's all I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.